I'm Mr. T. I'm a night elf mohawk. That is pretty good first take. So you want to paint your own Mr. T cereal box. Well, first thing you're going to have to do is get a hold of a Mr. T cereal box. It took me about a year and a half to find one for a decent price. And I finally broke down and paid $31, including shipping. $31.51 for a Mr. T cereal box. Now I've got my wood cut out to the size I'm going to use. The same size as all my other cereal boxes. And I've got a grid drawn on there in pencil. It's only eight squares. And since I don't want to draw on this box because I paid so much for it, maybe I want to resell it someday. By the way, if I can get this autographed by Mr. T, it'll be worth $50. What I've done is I've uh, drawn the grid on this plastic and I'll slide the box into place. And it'll give me a guide, just a basic guide on drawing it and getting the proportions right and everything. Now before I got to this stage, I took a piece of wood like this and cut it into three pieces. And then when I got one of these, I sanded it down, sanded all the corners, made them rounder, and all the edges are sanded so they're not sharp. And then there's a bunch of chips in it here where it was cut. I filled those with wood putty and sanded it, sanded it tried to make it really smooth. Now I took 220 grit sandpaper and tried to get it as smooth as I possibly could because I don't like to have a bunch of chips and stuff. Some of the wood grain will show anyway, even after you paint it. But if you get it as smooth as you can to begin with, you know, that's the result I'm looking for. And these are the tools I'll be using. Mechanical pencil, a ruler for some straight lines maybe, and a gummy eraser. And I will draw, you know, that. <laughs> See, I like to actually have the cereal box. That's why I was really excited when I was able to purchase a Mr. T cereal box for the low, low price of $31.51, including shipping. Now, had I been lucky enough to buy this originally at the store with the actual cereal in it and everything, not to mention free Mr. T stickers, I would have only paid a dollar forty nine plus tax. And tax probably wasn't that high back then. Nineteen eighty one, eighty two, eighty four, nineteen eighty four. So uh hang on to your cereal boxes, you never know. You might be able to sell them to some jackass like me someday. <laughs>